Hi people, it's Ed from Oxford Health and Fitness. For the first time ever, I'm in the Hartman Gym on my YouTube channel, doing some stuff which is pretty cool, pretty exciting for me anyway. A um, bit of normality again. So I'm gonna give you today the top four ab exercises I do in a routine, I'll do with clients or myself, which have the beast bang for their buck, they get the most out of the abs, helps tone, development, bring out the muscles, um, and really strengthen that core up. So yeah, we're gonna go through those four exercises, how to do them, little bits of information on all of them so it can let you do them properly, safely, in the right manner so you get maximum results. As ever guys, always never support the channel. Please like and subscribe if you, um, if you like the stuff and uh, support me, that'd be great, really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get into it. So the first one we're going to go through guys is a reverse crunch on the bench. Now this is great for developing the lower abs and the core in general. Um, form is really important though to make sure you do it properly. I like doing it on a bench because I can use the bar to sort of anchor myself down and hold myself, but you can also do it with the arms behind your head. So let's just go through the movement quickly and then I'll talk you through the main bits of what I try and do properly and show you some of the common areas that I see. So the bit that we're trying to do really guys, is once we've raised the legs up, we're then trying to extend the body as high as we can. Hold that position and then let the feet come down or the feeling that the feet come down before the bum. Now, in reality, that's never gonna happen because your abs have gotta be unbelievably strong to be able to do that. Um, but that's the feeling that you wanna to have to get maximum contraction through the abs. The bit that I see people do wrong a lot of the time is they kind of just fall with too much speed and when they're doing that, the bigger muscles come into play, they don't really isolate the abs and contract those muscles. It's the bigger body parts that do it and they use more momentum to get themselves up and down rather than actually using the strength in their muscles. So I'll just show you a couple of those as well. Let's see often it's something like this. What I'm doing is I'm not really activating those abs, I'm getting a little bit from it, but not half as much as when I go up, extend up, and I have that feeling like the bum the feet beat the bum down to the floor. As you can see, they're not really beating the bum down to the floor, but by doing that, my abs are having to really work to hold the contraction um, and to do the exercise properly. So that's one of my favorite ab exercise. Mega, if you can do it, great. Get in the gym, start doing those. Really help that abs strength. Another one of exercise, you guys, is the leg raises. On, um, on one of the leg front raising machines, the frames. These are really good. A um, couple of reasons I really like them are they're really easy to do, really simple. You just jump on the equipment, off you go. Um, but also, I feel like you can supplement them with other stuff and make them as part of a circuit, get a bit of intensity into that lab workout as well. Um, pretty much with these, all I try and get people to do, what I see a lot of people do, sorry, is they do like, they try and do the straight leg ones. And it's really hard to do this properly, you've got to have some really strong abs. So I like to start off easier and then build up the difficulty of the movement. So from here, I'll pin myself into the frame. Now the big important thing I like to try and do is really suck my belly button in to the back of the pad so it's in really tight. After here, all I'm trying to do is bring my knees up as high as I can, control down and almost keep my feet in front of me and my tummy in tight. That means that my muscles, my arm, my core, it's really going to be controlling that movement and it's not really the big leg muscles doing the work this tummy is happening all the time it's all it's all through the core here so um a couple of the big mistakes i see people make here is they try and do too much too early they get this swinging motion on the go and when you get this swinging motion your back actually opens up and you extend from the hips and you don't use that core as much so give those a go another one of top exercises is a cable wood shot I really like these because they're low impact on the back, so no real stress on the back. Um, and it's a great way of working the obliques and the rotation aspects of the body, which kind of gets overlooked when we train a lot of the time, that functionality. Um, so yeah, doing cable wood chops is a great way of doing it. The way I like to see them done is both hands on the cable, feet nice and wide so you've got a nice stable base. And then you already want to keep the arms wide 
and try and keep the chest square and let the arms rotate all the way around the body. Nice full range of motion. A lot of the time what I see is people trying to cheat because they're trying to put too much weight on um, and shift too much. So they use their whole body like this, which isn't going to be using the core so much. It's not going to be isolating this, it's going to be using the whole body instead. All what I see is the arms moving too much and nothing really through the core. Um, so try and keep those arms nice and locked straight. As soon as you bend the arms, something else starts really working apart from the muscles you try and target. So nice flexible stance, almost like a goalkeeper stance, and then rotate, keeping those arms nice and straight. Really feeling that work through the, through the core, through the obliques. Good rotational ab exercise for you. Now the last one we're gonna do is actually probably the best ab exercise out of all of them. Great functionality about it. Um, brilliant at just isolating the core and stopping the hip flexors and other muscles getting in um, work instead of isolating those abs and really working on that core strength. So it's a ball crunch. Now, I'll show you a couple of ways I do it to really isolate the abs. Um, and then I'll show you a couple of the common areas. So what I try and do is get a right angle at the abs, ball in the lower part of the back, and then you lock the body as one. You can either put your arms across the chest to make it a bit easier, or by the ears a little bit harder. And then all you're trying to do is stretch back, not let anything move, including the ball, and then just crunch it. You really want to focus on the space and the ceiling. Big stretch, and then contract. Feel the abs stretch, and then contract. Awesome movement for the abs. If you want to make it harder, you can just get yourself a plate and put it behind your head and go the same way. But I would only really do this if I could do the, the crunching and the movement properly without anything else moving. A lot of the time when people come to use these and they do core stuff, they don't feel it and they don't think it's working for them. But a lot of the time what we'll see is this like rocking motion where they're using the whole body and they're letting the hips dip. Um, again, you're just letting the bigger muscles work. Your body likes to do stuff to make itself easier, to conserve energy. We want to isolate the muscles, we want to work and really get those um, like core contracting, firing. Always like the feeling of letting the abs open up so you feel like they stretch and then contract, stretch and then contract. And that's really not just with these, with any ab exercise. So that's one of the ball crunches. Love this exercise um, to add into any kind of workout, especially when I'm doing a bit of an ab routine. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that content. I hope you found it interesting. I definitely try and add these exercises into my ab routine or at the end of workouts or if you want to do a little bit of an ab you know, exercise sort of thing somewhere. They're four of the best exercises that I do with my clients and I get the best results out of. So give them a go, let me know what you think. If you're trying them, you're not really feeling them working or whatever, you're not sure if you're doing it right, by all means, send them in, let me have a look at them. Um, I can always critique the form and try and help you out a little bit. With those as well, I'd probably do three sets of each of them at a minimum, but I try and generally go a bit of higher reps. I'd go between like 10 and 15. Uh, I always like to work a rep range, so you know, if you can do 10 and it's no problem, you either make the weight heavier or you do more reps sort of thing. So if we, can, if we can't do 10, we make it a bit easier. If we can do more than 15, we make it harder. That way we're always trying to challenge in the muscle and getting the most out of the exercise for it. So anyway, Give those a go, let me know how you get on. Please give this channel a like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed that video and I'll catch you with you soon. Take care.